Welcome everyone to my channel back again with another uh, command block creation. Now, I haven't done many command blocks creations, or uh, creations in general on this channel, but I'd like to show, well, ones that I've shown at least. Uh, so I'd like to show you this one I've been working on single player for the past couple hours. This one is called the Destructo Bean. Now, um, it's actually a little complicated, but yet not really at the same time. It uses a technique called ray casting, which is something I've been trying to fool around with. Now, there are two types of ray casting. You have the mathematical geometric one, and then you have the entity-based one. I used the entity-based one because I didn't feel like messing with all that math and uh, trying to make equations and stuff like that in command blocks. I felt like that's not something I want to do. Plus, the entity one seemed more fun in this situation. So yeah, we have uh, we have three different parts to this system. Uh, first, I should probably show you what it is first. Okie dokie. You should probably fly when you use this, otherwise it's gonna... <laughs> yeah, just right click the shears and... Eesh, that's loud. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that's so fun to play with. Anyway, that's uh, basically what I call my destructo beam. You can retexture the shears if you like, but this map I hope will be up for download. Uh, maybe. So if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna see this turn into a mini game, please leave a like and comment down below. But before we do all that, let's get to how this works. We have three sections. We have Destructor the Sheep who has a special set of tag and is in a team uh, called Sheep to make sure he doesn't collide with me, but the tag is just for something else. Um, this is multiplayer friendly as far as I'm concerned. I tried my best to make it multiplayer friendly. Actually, no, Destructor isn't multiplayer friendly because there's only one Destructor. You can add another one if you like to make it multiplayer friendly. But yeah, Destructor, he appears to be uh, naked, but he's not because of a graphical glitch. Uh, but we'll get to why that is in a second. Next, we have the set of things that has to happen no matter what, uh, which is just for like setting, adding uh, armor stance to timer. Which is, if you look closely at the explosions, you might see flying armor stance, which is a graphical glitch. But uh, they're basically armor stance with elytras that I've set to fly 14 blocks above where I right click in the direction that will give basically the explosion. Uh, base, they'll just be there. They'll appear to be right in front of me, but they're actually 14 blocks above. This uh, It'll give them a timer, and once they reach 200 on that timer, they will die. Which is more or less what that is. I thought I set this one up. Oh well. Um, might be something unimportant. Anyway. And then we got the... Uh, and then we got if I'm holding the shears. So if I'm actually holding the shears, it'll set it to one, but it sets it to zero almost immediately, just for one tick, so it doesn't spawn more TNT than it needs to. And then we got the if any of the armor stands that I was talking about before touch the ground, they immediately die. So if they get 14 blocks into the ground, uh, the explosion gets 14 blocks into the ground, it'll stop working right there. Though in hindsight, that's not really the best idea, but I digress. Um, man, what was that? That was over here. Yeah, and then we have uh, set the sheep to invisibility, so I don't see him whenever he's at my face. Uh, and then we have the holding shears. Oh, I have two holding shears. That's weird. Okay, extra redundancy. Now uh, here is the actual ray casting explosion machine. Uh, this is actually pretty. This is pretty simple. I've decided to use levers because it is a glitch where they won't work unless I use levers. So, just gonna, just gonna explode you real quick. It's important to not left click, otherwise, a uh, destructor over there will get hurt. And uh, yeah, wow, well, they went, went going for a while. Uh, so, if I'm holding the shears. Uh, if the selected item in my inventory is shears and they have the name Destructo Bean, it will add holding shears, which is why that over there moves it. Then, 
it will TP the sheet to me if I'm if I have a holding shears of one. And if I don't have a holding shears of one, the comparator will turn off and turn this on, TPing the sheep back to his pen. Then the sheep will be teleported up to my eye level, making it easy to right click on him. So like he's right here at my face, but you can't see him and he's not colliding with me because he's on the sheep team. That's something else. Then it will uh then when the sheep is sheared I should probably t change this to type sheep, but doesn't matter because there's not really that many int actually I should probably do that type equals sheep. It will add holding prisoner one. Now I was messing around with this before. I was kind of trying to make a sword out of it. It's beyond the point. Uh, but the sword one worked. Didn't have a right click function, so it made it impossible to do so. So we'll just call it prisoner just for the heck of it. Um, once they reach, it will give them a prisoner score. The sheep a prisoner score of one once it's sheared. This was to make it simple and not target me specifically. Plus. The sheep rotates in my direction whenever I hold the shears, so making it that much easier, like his head, you see his head, I am like a sheep. <laughs> he rotates in my direction whenever I'm holding the shears, whenever he TPs to me, so it makes it that much easier. I didn't delete this. Oh, yeah, right. So, um, yeah. And holding Razinger 1, yep. This one's empty, this one's empty. Yeah, that's because I was trying to make this a separate system at first, but then we have the actual ray casting. Which is uh when that when the sheep actually has a score of one, Brazinger one, it will summon the armor stand that's invisible, has the ray caster tag, and has an elytra on its back with the tag to make it actually when it's falling, it will fly with the elytra and it's also invulnerable, making the TNT actually work. Uh, without like messing up all the uh, <laughs> all the explosions that come after. Now after after that, it summons the the raycasters to the sheep, and then it, so they are looking in the exact same direction. Then the sheep, relative to the sheep, the they get added a new tag called ray. This is so that when I remove the ray caster tag, they don't keep teleporting back and back and back and back. Instead, they can adopt a different set of properties. From here, I teleport them 14 blocks up, which you can change it to any map, but 14 blocks is just out of what you can see, and it's what I saw was the entity ray casting thing that I saw from, like, what was it, the vanilla weapons mod? Uh, can I work mod? Command block mod. Ugh. And then the the rays, the armor stands already flying down because they no longer are teleporting back to me, will then be teleported 0.15 blocks up so that they kind of go at a straight angle, unless of course you're aiming slight, slightly more up to uh, for drag taking effect. Or was it? I was over here, wasn't it? No, I was over here. Okay. And then, 13.75 blocks below, they will summon TNT. So it's not perfect, but again, TNT is kind of like a big explosion. So it doesn't really matter all that much. And then, I turn the sh uh, sheep back to non-sheared, uh, which is why it's a graphical glitch. He's not sheared. I could just spam shear on him. And then I don't have to kind of get rid of the wool, because the explosion takes care of the wool in mun. Well, not not Mun, because I'd have to kill him, but still. And then, uh, holding Brazinger set to zero, but again, they can be over here, but I like it over here, that way it doesn't interfere with this system. And uh, a neat little trick about this bunker, bu uh, about this, is I've actually found it's more of a bunker buster, depending on, uh, depending on how you use it. For instance, this isn't 14 blocks tall, so all I would have to do is just do this. I'm going to fly so I don't go flying again. And it actually goes through. Unless I am fort unless I am actually fourteen blocks underground, this is going to work. It will bust through any wall. Almost. So that's actually really nice. 
And uh, but I like it with Stone Bear because I like to see the I like to see the damage that it does. Whoosh. And you see the little elytras over there. I actually love this. And am I might actually implementing in some of my friends' servers as like uh, Easter egg or um, uh, or something like admin fun, like a vanilla admin fun, which I commonly. I commonly do, such as possessing players, uh, nuking, uh, I'm very destructive, I'm sorry, um, and more. But this is another admin fun I might add, just the destructo beam. Oh boy, that's loud, but it's also fun to use. Uh, please, uh, if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more command block creations, please hit a like. Also, if, hit a like if you want to see this in a mini game. Uh, don't forget to comment down below ideas for a minigame, or if you want to ask questions, I will gladly answer them. I pretty much went over everything in here. It's a simple design, and, uh, yeah. Hello, Destructor. Hello. You want to help me again? <gasps> Apparently it was not in my hitbox. Oh, lord. The Destructo Beam only lasts for 10 seconds because of the 200 tick mark, but still, it's amazingly powerful. <laughs> uh, amazingly powerful. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more as well for my channel. Minecraft. Bye guys.